The U.S. Treasury Department blocking 10 companies and six people from access to the U.S. financial system. Washington says each of them helped advance Pyongyang's illegal nuclear or ballistic missile programs. They include China's Dandong Rich Earth Trading. Washington says it supported Pyongyang's nuclear program. Russia's Gefest M LLC and its director. Washington says it supported Pyongyang's missile development program. A Chinese financial institution called Mingjiang. Three Chinese coal companies, which allegedly imported millions of dollars in DPRK coal three Russian and two Singapore-based companies for providing oil to Pyongyang, and Chinese Mansueti Overseas Projects Group is also accused of bringing DPRK workers to Namibia to earn money for Pyongyang. The U.S. Secretary of State says the U.N.-backed sanctions have made a difference. We have had no missile launches or provocative acts on the part of North Korea since the unanimous adoption of the U.N. Security Council resolution. I, uh, I'm pleased to see that the regime in Pyongyang has, has certainly demonstrated some level of restraint that we've not seen in the past. We hope that this is the beginning of this uh, signal that we've been looking for. Meantime, the U.S. Department of Justice also moved to seize more than $11 million from two Chinese companies. The agency accuses the companies of laundering money for Pyongyang. Beijing supported the unanimous Security Council vote in favor of more sanctions against the DPRK, and a Chinese embassy spokesperson tells CGTN China faithfully implements the DPRK resolutions adopted there. And quote, if there are any Chinese companies or individuals who are suspected of violating Security Council resolutions, they will be investigated and treated in accordance with China's domestic laws and regulations. We strongly urge the U.S. to immediately correct its mistake so as not to impact bilateral cooperation on relevant issues. Just last Monday, Beijing began implementing the new U.N. Security Council sanctions. Shortly afterwards, the media reported Chinese seafood traders stopped at the DPRK-China border, with trucks denied re-entry to China. Jessica Stone, CGTN, Washington.